welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen Harris. Thank you for joining me. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below. I usually upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me, and I would really appreciate it if you go ahead and support my channel. So let me tell you guys a little bit about the Will I Buy It series. It was basically started by Samantha March. She has a YouTube channel here, obviously, on YouTube, and she uploads every Wednesday, and she usually highlights four products. Now, I love watching her Will I Buy It videos because she does a really good job of talking herself out of buying things, and I kind of think that is a really good goal to have with this series, especially now that all the holiday stuff is coming out. She also does a special like edition for holiday. I'm going to just kind of clump everything together because I am not as organized as she is. Um, she does work from home as well, so I think she does a really good job of breaking things down and spacing things out, but I like to hit you guys hard. So let's go ahead and see what's dropping lately in the makeup world and whether I'm planning on buying it or passing on it. So. The first thing I see is ColourPop is coming out with some new Super Shock shadows. Now, if you guys have not seen it, I will link my ColourPop swatch video above for you guys. I have enough Super Shock shadows to cover my whole body for an entire year, and I probably still wouldn't use them all up. So I have actually stopped buying the Super Shock shadows just because I have so many, and now I'm really into the press shadows, which I'm also trying to refrain from buying. So I will not be purchasing any of these shades. They do look really beautiful, but I don't think it's anything new that I can't find in my collection already. Now, if you have not tried anything from ColourPop, I would definitely recommend the Super Shock shadows. Shadows. They are really beautiful, but honestly, most of the time I use them on my lid, and you really don't need more than four or five of them. And these are a great way to try them out because it is a quad, so you do get a nice variety of shades. But personally, I don't need it. But if you're looking to try ColourPop, these shades are so so beautiful and definitely on trend for the fall time. These will launch September 28th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so if you're in Central Time, like me, it'll be noon, and they are $18 for the quad, so that's a really great deal because these are usually $5 a piece, so yeah, check them out if you're interested and you've never tried ColourPop. Next thing I want to talk about is the Tartlet Toasted Palette. Now, this is a new palette that's coming out from Tarte Cosmetics, and it's the next follow-up palette in Bloom palette and stuff like that. Of course, this is right up my alley. It's those nice, neutral, warm toned shades. Now, I'm not a fan of the Tartlet in Bloom palette, but I do want to pick this palette up so I can do like a throwback video with the in Bloom palette and then review this palette for you guys. So, I don't know, it seems silly for me to pick it up just cuz, but I am a YouTuber, so I do like to review this stuff for you guys. This looks like a yummy palette, I must say. Next thing that I see on here is Jeffree Star is launching minis of his Velour Liquid Lipsticks. Now, you guys know I love his lips liquid lipstick formula. Regardless of what you think of Jeffree Star and what I think of Jeffree Star, I do think his liquid lipstick formula is fabulous, and I think this mini kit is honestly a great way to sample some of his product. If you have never tried it, I think it's so, so comfortable. I wear a lot of his liquid lipsticks, and... I just don't want to buy this because I have a lot of these shades, like the ones that suit my skin tone. So I will be passing on this, but this comes out September 30th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and it will also be on Beautylish, and it is $52, and the shades will include Mannequin, Celebrity Skin, Posh Spice, Rose Matter, Gemini, Leo, and Androgyny. I believe I have Celebrity Skin, Rose Matter, Gemini, Leo, and Androgyny, so I really don't need to pick up the minis, but yeah, it's it sounds really cool. I if, if it's something you guys are interested in, I would definitely recommend. Next thing I see is Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is coming out with a new glow kit. This is called the Sugar Glow Kit, and it includes some of the favorites from the previous glow kit that they had. Um, what was that called? It was Sweet Something, and it was a beautiful kit, and I really wanted to buy it, but I never got around to it, and now they're coming out with this kit, which also looks really, really beautiful, but honestly, guys, I have really recently been more aware of my purchasing, and I really need a highlighter, like I need a hole in my head, so I will not be picking this up, but if you've never tried any of the glow kits, which I highly doubt 
that's any of you watching YouTube right now because everyone that watches YouTube I feel like is addicted to makeup but really ask yourself if you need this personally I really don't need it so I will be passing on it I believe this is probably gonna be like $42 that's usually how much their glow kits are it's beautiful but I definitely don't need it I don't need it <laughs> okay next on here it looks like Real Techniques is coming out with minis of their brushes and I think these are adorable I was so pumped when I saw these because I actually have both of these brushes in the full size and honestly guys I love Real Techniques brushes if you're looking for affordable recommendations that you can pick up very easily Real Techniques is great you can get them on Target if you have a red card they'll ship them for you for free I have a ton of Real Techniques brushes in my collection and I 1000% recommend them to you guys Next thing I'm so excited for, this is already written down in my calendar, Juvia's Place is coming out with a Saharan 2. This is going to be called the, um, I think it's going to be called the Hijab Queen, I'm not 100% sure, but this palette will come come out October 15th and I'm so so excited for it. I love Juvia's Place guys. Every palette they come out with I feel like is better than the last palette. I picked up the Magic palette which I, did I review that for you guys? I don't feel like I did but it's awesome. Someday I will review all of my Juvia's Place palettes but I'm so here for it. Like this promo shot is beautiful and I cannot wait to see what they come out with with this palette. Okay guys, so Violet Moss has been sneak peeking this new palette they're coming out with called the Rainbow Palette. It hasn't been announced yet when it's coming out. There are some swatches floating around the internet and I do think it's a beautiful palette, but I'm really not into the colorful eyeshadow palette, so I think I'll be passing on this. It's probably going to be in the $40 to $50 range, and I have so many Violet Moss palettes that need more love from me. I really am not planning on picking this up. The next thing I see on here is coming out from Huda Beauty. She's coming out with three products. She's coming out with a faux filter foundation in 30 shades for $40, a primer as well as a face blending brush. This will be available in October. Now, I am really, really curious to try out her foundation, uh, but again, I'm trying to be more aware of my purchases, and I recently picked up the Fenty Beauty Foundation, which I'm actually wearing right now, and I really do love this shade. It's 370 in case any of you guys are curious, but I just have so many foundations right now, I really don't need to add. I'm trying to, you know, convince myself that I need to use up foundations more, so that's what my plan is to not really buy anymore. We'll see what the reviews say. If I hear like reviews that are like knocking my socks off and people are like blown away. I might consider it, but I'm so happy with the foundations I have right now and all of them are foolproof and work really well for me. If you're interested, I will link my foundation collection video. I did it a few months ago. Um, if you guys want to check that out, I think it's a very fun video. Next thing I wanted to talk about is this Becca palette that they're coming out with. Um, this was part of the sneak peek that they had for the VIB Rouge, and I honestly was not blown away by this at all. It's very excessive on the packaging, and basically, from the description, I found out is that it's basically their shimmering skin perfectors that have been modified to be used on your eyes. So I honestly feel like that's Becca's way of, this is what the problem is with Becca. They have really cool products, but then they do this thing where they try to repackage shit and sell you the same crap. So like I have Topaz, Opal, and like Rose Gold. I have a bunch of their highlighters. So I really don't know what would possess anyone that owns their Shimmering Skin Perfectors to buy this palette. I honestly would avoid it. It is not even cheap. It's like 45 bucks and you don't even get a lot of product. So I'm staying far far away from that palette and I think you guys should too. Next thing I do see Kat Von D uh, relaunch her Lolita Cheek Eyeshadow um, shade. Now I initially when I heard about this was planning on picking this up but it's a $19 compact and you guys I'm so bad with using up singles I have a bunch of single eyeshadows that I never use so I'm not planning on picking this up I love the liquid lipstick shade Lolita but I don't think this I don't think this eyeshadow looks anything like the liquid lipstick so I am planning on staying away from that okay here's a good one the Morphe setting spray now this restocked a few days ago while I was in Texas and I was so excited I was like putting it in my cart I was ready to check out and then I had a coming to Jesus moment where I was like Karen you literally have so many setting sprays with no end in sight and I know it took Morphe forever to restock this but now is not the time for you to spend 
$15 on a setting spray, so I talked myself off that ledge, and I'm so happy I did. I've heard so many good things about the Morphe setting spray, but it's all from their affiliates, people that make money off of selling their products to you. So until I see a review from somebody that doesn't have an affiliate code with Morphe, I'm gonna hold back and I'm gonna try and use up some of the setting sprays I have, and then once I've used up some of them, I will maybe consider purchasing the setting spray if it is in stock at the time. Now, L'Oreal is coming out with this whole Galaxy Glow, Galaxy Stick, all this stuff. I'm really over the holographic phase, guys. It really doesn't suit my skin tone, so I won't be picking any of this stuff up. Uh, L'Oreal has come out with some really, really cool products recently, but this whole Galaxy line is so not me, so I will be passing on it. Let me know if you guys are planning on picking this up. Now, the Desi and Katie collection did restock. It looks like everything basically sold out, but I did want to talk to you guys about this collection. I really enjoyed the highlighter and the liquid lipstick I picked up from that line. I get a lot of compliments when I wear Hot Fire, which is the liquid lipstick shade they came out with. But I don't know if I told you guys this, but I did end up returning the eyeshadow palette. To me, it came with one shadow shattered, and then it was just... Ah, uh, it was bad, you guys. The consistency reminded me a lot of the Huda Rose Gold palette, those like textured eyeshadows, and I did not want to deal with it. I did not want to keep that palette for $29, so I did actually end up contacting Dose of Colors, and they did let me return it, so I sent it back, and I did get my money back. In case this collection does restock, I would definitely caution you guys. I do have a review or like a first impressions on Dose of Colors that I can throw up in the cards for you if you're interested in seeing that video. But yeah, for me that eyeshadow palette was a bust. So I'm really bummed that nobody is really kind of telling the truth on that. I feel like a lot of people, if you bought that palette, you probably feel the same way. But you know, they're YouTubers. They're very well loved. So I understand people don't want to talk shit about them. I don't feel like I'm talking shit. I'm just saying I spent 30 bucks on that palette and it did not impress me, so I sent that back. Makeup Forever came out with a holiday palette. This is called the Luster Shadow Palette and it's $49 and has 12 matte and metallic shades. Now, I gave Makeup Forever's eyeshadows a really, really hard try. Like, I tried um, some of their palettes. I will pop pictures of them because I don't know the names off the top of my head. And I honestly can't work with those shadows. I just don't know why. They're really hard to blend. The shimmers don't impress me they're so expensive I lose my mind when I see people buying those big $22 eyeshadows for like a single is $22 that's insane anyway they've never worked for me and even though these shades are calling my name I'm not gonna fall for the hype and buy this palette because I know it's gonna be unusable and then I'm gonna end up wanting to return it so I'm definitely passing on it but I just wanted to tell you guys about it I just haven't had a very good experience with those palettes the next thing that I, I really, really wanted this, but I talked myself out of this. This is the Cover FX Perfect Highlighting Palette. It's $39 and is now available on Ulta's website. I really wanted this palette, guys, but like I said, I need another highlighter, like I need a hole in my head. So I decided to pass. I think this is something you guys really should try if you're into highlighters. I personally love the Cover FX brand, but I've never tried any of their powder highlighters. I've heard really, really good things, but again, I'm not planning on picking that up. But I do think it's a really, really good deal to get six highlighters for 39 bucks. That's a really good price, especially when Becca's single highlighters are like $38. Speaking of Becca and speaking of highlighters and speaking of them just like recycling shit, they just came out with a new gradient glow. This is a $38 highlighter and it's basically a combination of all of their highlights. Like, I just don't understand. Sometimes with Becca's product development team, it's like they recycle shit. Like, I get it, it's a cool idea, but I mean, who really wants to buy this shade? Like, it's an awkward shade, it's like a blend of all their shades. I, I don't get it, so I'm passing on it. If you guys are really interested in it, I can see people falling for it as like a collector's item and buying it, but honestly, I don't think you guys should buy it, and I think you should stay strong with me and stay away from that. Stay away from that highlighter. If you guys are interested in their highlighters, just go swatch, go swatch them and get the one you like. Don't buy this gradient shit, because most likely it's going to be way too dark for most people. I'm thinking it might suit somebody my skin tone or darker, but with the combination they chose, I feel like it's going to be a much darker highlight than what is going to be suitable for lighter skin tones. But this is just speculation. I haven't swatched it or anything. I'm just imparting my wisdom upon you. 
The last thing I want to talk about in this video is the Fenty Beauty upcoming holiday collection. Now, there it looks like she's coming out with a bunch of stuff. She's got four lipsticks, four glosses, three liquid eyeliners, and an eyeshadow palette. These are all going to be available on Sephora's website on October 13th. Now, I haven't done my Fenty Beauty review for you guys yet, but it is coming. I just didn't want to put it up right now because I feel like everyone's still talking about Fenty, and I feel like nobody's going to watch that video, so I'm just going to wait and hit you guys with it in a few weeks, maybe. Um, so far, I am loving it. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy anything from Fenty Beauty. Um, the thing that I did learn from watching Stephanie Nichols video is Fenty Beauty is basically owned by the company that owns Sephora. So I was really shocked when Fenty went into all Sephora stores, but once I found that out, it all made sense. Like, oh yeah, Fenty is basically co-owned by Sephora, so of course they're going to make space for that line. It has really, you know, kind of broken down barriers, I think, for Sephora. I honestly noticed so many more people of color at Sephora since Fenty has launched, which I think is amazing. Do I want the eyeshadow palette? Yes and no. I think it looks amazing. I'm sure Rihanna killed it with the eyeshadow palette, but those shades just don't look like my kind of colors. Like I've already said in this video, I'm not really into colorful eyeshadows, and I feel like this palette is definitely more full of color. So my plan is to pass on it, but you guys, I only have so much self-control, so I may fall into the hype and buy it. Okay guys, that is everything I wanted to talk about in my Will I Buy It video. Let me know what you are planning on buying or what you're not planning on buying. I would be really, really interested to hear from you guys and talk to you in the comments down below. Also, don't forget, I do have two active giveaways going on on my channel right now. They end really, really soon in like a couple of days. So check the description box. I have them both linked down below for you guys. And uh, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.